גדי להבי טריו, Welcome to Culture Buzz. You have just performed in the Shablul Club, Snail. It was a wonderful performance, if I may say so myself. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. And the purpose of this interview is to talk about your past, your present, and your future. So, may we start with the past? Can you tell us how you came together and formed the trio? Uh, actually, I remember, I remember it started from me, I think. What, right? I, I, when I, I saw uh, you at the jam session. The yeah, like, uh, right, right, right. And I, my, you, we played like just the head of... The yeah, we played like in a jam together, like when I was 15, I think. Yeah, I was like 11 or 12. Yeah. And, uh... And, and I, I remember that I had this video uh, that someone posted without my permission um, after I visited New York, and then uh, and then Tiago called me, right? No, but first we met each other in a lab right, right, right. in Berkeley. All right, right, but yeah, after Berkeley, that was when the video was uploaded, and then I, I need the bass player. Yeah. And we and we so we like met each other a few times in the past, me and Gadi, and then we. He told me he wants to to have a trio. Go to play in the tour. I didn't say that. No, I'm kidding. That's what he told me. Well, I, well you know, yeah. I, I, I. That's I, what Tiago told me. Then I, I called Mars. <laughs> and I I with never him. wanted to play <laughs> with you. It's just, it just happened to be. No, I'm kidding. No, it's, no I, I said like we should, we should play, and then and then when when Tiago called. It was from from trio, so we, we were uh, like in oh, the, in and the we played uh, in Watch You. Right, 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 right. We, we had those street. sessions. Yeah, we with, had uh, sessions playing in the street. Right. We are talking about how many years ago? Three, That's four, like three, four, four, three, four three yeah. Years, three, four. Ah, so you've been together for that long? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then me, me and uh, Mochi, we started playing together in a uh, school, in like, this new school. Uh, and, uh, uh, Ken Stricker and the space that we play, and uh, we started playing together. And Mochi called Daddy and said, Hey, this is a bass player, maybe we'll try and we'll do that. And we just we, and, yeah, I, I, and, we did and a I, rehearsal. And, and I said, No way. I said, No yeah. way. So, and I said, No, please, please. And so, anyway, yeah, we, we went <laughs> okay. to, and we did a rehearsal in his house, and then we started playing together. And then, after like a few months, or even I don't know, six months, we we got a mail that we were invited uh, through our uh, so manual. No, yeah. no, no. So, so no, I, I think it was first. That he asked me to come, and then I searched for a bass player, and then yeah, I found yeah. you, and then we started. And then we went to uh, Lithuania and uh, Finland and uh, Estonia. Estonia and in Kaunas. And in Kaunas, yeah. And so we had like two, like, and then we went to Russia again, Kaliningrad uh, a few months ago. So we and, 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 and that was a really bad performance. Nah, I was. But uh, we've been twice in Europe, and it's been really amazing uh, to, be, to be together. Because yeah. we formed this uh, connection between us that is very up in the you know, human relations way. It's very nice to be together. And we've become really good friends. And so in the music, it also feels like a click. Does. So now we're going to Brazil. Yes. Brazil. In another eight days. Wonderful. Eight days. Wonderful. Yes. Really exciting. Let's talk about influences. Influences. What kind of influenced by? Uh, what? By like musically? No, just like maybe pianists. Oh, just pianists. Um. Uh. Why? Well, um. Now I'm really kind of trying to open up to lots of shit. Um. And. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, but say like two two pianists that you really really uh, like. Well, you know, I I, I, I love Keith. Chicken yeah. here, right? Right there. Chico, yeah. And Chico, Chico is, yeah. And I'm actually doing after Brazil. I'm, I'm doing a little session with him. That's Chico. Which is really... In Florida. What? In, in Florida. 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 Right, in yeah. his house. So they're um, actually friends. Or him friends. Chico, yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm kind of, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm influenced by when pian pianists like Brad and, and Aaron Goldberg. And, um, you know, uh, but I think, you know, I'm also influenced by, by many, well, m many players, like, uh, of course, like, by Coltrane, Miles, and I, and, 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 
I, you know, I take some things that are really special and I think um, sometimes trying to, 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 to do, I'm, I, you know, I, right now, um, well not right now, like, uh, uh, like a few, like about a week ago, uh, <laughs> Kurt Rosenwinkel, uh, guitar player, if you're not familiar with him, he came, uh, sorry, keep distracting me. Um, <laughs> he came to Israel. We had those uh, little workshops. Uh, uh, you know, he did some workshops in Ramon, and I studied nice there. Uh, so, so he played in like the hot jazz ensemble, which has some some really tremendous players, and, like some tremendous young players, uh, which are really incredible. Um, and you know, I'm saying is like I'm 30, and I'm saying, oh, these these kids are, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, who am I to say that? But uh, I'm just saying that they're great, and I've I've kind of really gotten into guitar players and Shaka Ganatan, which played with us today. Shaka for real in town. Yeah, Shaka, Shaka, Shaka. He he influences me, and, and you know it's not only big players. Like I kind of hear lots of sounds and these approaches to to because for me uh, now anyway, it's kind it's kind of like a mentality that the kind of chick. Uh, kind of told me about it and I can agree uh, and how it turned out like for me it's kind of like I think what like a, a, like a desk full and this is kind of like what I think about school and, and life in general that you have all these post-it notes you know, I, I'm, I'm not I'm not paid by post-it to advertise their notes but uh, you get you know lots of sheets of paper like all you know on the table, and then um, it's up to you to like organize them and, th and throw what, what you don't like and what you do like. Um, that's deep. That's deep. That's what she said. Uh, sorry. Oh, wait, this is uh, <laughs> we can't cut this now. Can we? No, we can't. I'm it's gonna uncut. Stop this interview is uncut. Yeah, okay, yes. I'm gonna stop. Daddy, forgive me for interrupting, but okay. uh, if I may ask uh, both uh, Itai and Max, yeah, sure. who have been your biggest influences. Sure. Sorry for talking to For much. me, I like Ray Brown very much, and Larry Grenadier now, you know, mm. I'm starting to hear a lot, and um, Ron Carter, so Paul Chambers, really good, good bass players, I really love them. Itai? Um, I started from uh, the old school jazz players like Philly Joe Jones and Papa Joe Jones, mm. Elvin Jones, all the Joneses. And uh, with the years, I just I started listening to more like modern jazz. And uh, currently, my biggest influence is Eric Harland. Mm. Mm. Good influences. Yeah. And I think it shows in your, in your playing, all of you. We didn't talk about Israeli influences. Oh. Uh, Max, maybe you would like to say a word because I've seen your father. Yeah, my father is a musician. Amongst the audience. Yeah, he's a composer. And he's amazing with it. So, uh, um, not only as a dad, you know, just like to be with a musician like that is amazing. Not because he's my dad. I'm saying he's really like a very big influence on me. Even in the most basic way that uh, every music that he bought, he put in the, in, you know, in the library of the house. And then he heard it once, put it there for me to find one day. And so it's full of like amazing music and his taste is amazing in music, so it influenced me. Or even the little, most, I think, very big influence that my dad uh, always, uh, if he hugged me or whatever, he had, has his hand on me. So he starts to, uh, you know, play. Because he's taking music all the time. So I think... In, I think having groove on me, like a hand of groove, since very uh, small age, I feel uh, I feel the groove, you know. Oh. I feel that I feel the groove because of that also very much. Very quick. And since I had the pleasure of sitting beside him uh, during your performance, yes, I can tell you that both him and your mother are very proud of you, and it seemed that he was taking an active part in your uh, <laughs> performance, although wow. he was sitting uh, amongst the audience. <laughs> It was a wonderful thing to observe. Guys, can you tell us a bit about your plans ahead? I know that you are going to Brazil and then to Florida. Yeah, Brazil, to the three of us, and then uh, Gadi is going to Florida. And then uh, we have 
a plans for, we have plans for a new Caledonia maybe maybe and then Colombia Colombia and then Australia Gadi's going to Australia for some different band that he's well yeah in. actually talk about Israeli influences and I think Eli the Jibri. oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a big one for me yeah. Um, you have performed, Gadi, you have performed with Eli last November I have. Uh, at the opening of the music exposure in Jerusalem. Yes, that was, that was fun. It was, I was there and it was wonderful. Thank you. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, so it's really in included, in, like, you know, all the great players, you know, I, I'm, 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 I'm kind of sad that I'm going to present, I'm going to miss this performance with uh, Omar Omar Vita. 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 That Omar reminds Vita. me that he's my most like uh, influenced now. This is what I listen to the most. The same for me, although he's a bass player. Yeah, because, because stop listening. So to Omar lives in New York, and uh, so but he's Israeli, and then so I had it mixed up in my head. Like I'm talking about people from uh, from from outside outside of Israel. Uh, really, like world class Omar Avital is. Very yeah. exciting for me. Yeah. And, 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 and both uh Shakoya and the bass and, and player. The player. And uh the Jibri yeah. you said we you know and, you know. Lots of people, lots of yeah. all these guys. Israeli is Israeli right. players in jazz and, uh, are amazing. All, all, all more climb. Yeah. yeah. Which makes you wonder, and maybe you can uh, give us uh, the answer to this question. Although Israel is uh, relatively a small place, small people. It seems that, uh, especially lately, Israeli jazz musicians have been doing wonderfully abroad. abroad. What, what might be the reason for that? I think you, you only hear about the ones who succeed. So that... No, but I think uh, one reason is for, for the, the, one, the ones who succeeded, as you see right now, is uh, maybe a mid Golan. Right, because yeah. I know he he teached a lot of them. Right, he was a piano player and uh, he teached the Tel Merlin. He actually, for generations, got a lot of a lot of people to love music. love jazz, yeah. love music. Yeah. So one of the reasons he died might be the high level of teachers. Yes. Yeah. When it comes to jazz. Specifically him. Specifically about, him. About him right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe all the other teachers as well. Yeah. Really influential. Before yeah. wishing yeah. you before wishing you all the best, uh, if there is anything else you'd like to say, you have this opportunity. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shalosh Yeah. 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 That's a, that's a, cool. a very difficult word. This is yeah. Polish, I presume. I don't know anyone. Shipshitsky. Shipshitsky. Trio Gadi Lavi, thank you very much. Thank and you. All the best and success in the future. Thank you very much. You too.